Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to set up Python for scientific computing on Ubuntu as well as how to install PyMedGen for materials analysis. So PyMedGen is a popular material analysis uh, library for Python. And yeah, so the first thing that we are going to need is Python. So we can check if our Ubuntu ships with a version of Python or not by giving the command which Python, which basically checks if you have Python 2 installed or not. In order to check if you have Python 3, give the command which Python 3. And as you can see, it gives the location at which it is installed. And yes, that means that the modern versions of Ubuntu usually come or ship with Python pre-installed. And I recommend that you never uninstall it because a lot of softwares are now dependent on Python. So the next thing we need is to install the necessary libraries. However, if you don't have Python already installed, you can also give the command sudo apt get um, install Python 3 for Python and Python for Python 2. All right, so I mean, we can also just go ahead and try to give this on this PC. So it should probably, yeah, it says that it is already the newest version. Now the next thing that we are going to need is the libraries for numerical or scientific computing. So there are some popular libraries such as NumPy for numerical computing, SymPy for symbolic computing, SciPy for scientific purposes, and then Matplotlib for plotting charts, etc. And then finally, um, PyMedGen. So in order to install PyMedGen, there are basically two methods via conda or via pip in this video i'll be showing you the method via pip and for that you are probably recommended to install python 3 and then uh, you also need numpy and then that's probably it i already made a video about how to install PyMedGen on windows and it is pretty tricky for windows as pip doesn't work for that so you need to do it via conda and a lot of complicated stuff but for ubuntu it is pretty much straightforward so the first thing we are going to need is we are going to install pip. So pip is basically a Python package manager. So yeah, so the command for that is sudo um, apt get install python3 hyphen pip. So basically it installs the pip for your python3 version on your PC, then just hit enter. And for some reason, um, that's weird says that is unable to locate the package python3 pip okay so let's also check if it is already installed by giving the command which pip okay and which pip3 yeah so it is an install already so that's weird All right, so um, maybe we should try updating the package list um, because um, the thing is, you know, I just installed this um, on my PC. So probably um, I should have updated the package lists. All right, so the package list is now updated so we can probably try to install pip once again for python 3 by giving this command and you finally yeah we do want to install it give yes all right so yeah finally it installed so the that was probably the problem so we didn't have the package list updated since i just installed this ubuntu on this particular pc so you probably need to give this command that is sudo apt update that I gave right here to update the package list and then we are able to install pip for python so we'll just wait for it to install completely so finally pip is installed and now we can finally begin you know um, installing the necessary packages for Python. So as you can see, pip, um, we give this command to install pip for Python 3. This basically specifies that we want the pip for Python 3. If you want pip for Python 2, then you just omit these three over here, and then it will download something around 88 MBs to install pip. So now, if you give the command which um, pip, uh, or 
which pip3 rather then yeah so you can find where pip is installed and that basically means that, that pip is installed however it is installed by the name pip3 for you know python 3 so in order to install the necessary packages you could give the command like pip3 install and then the name of the package that is numpy and then hit enter Okay, so as you can see, it found the NumPy package and the necessary URL, and it is now downloading the 17 megabytes of the package, and then installing the specified package. All right, so that is how you basically install any Python package available, bot available on pip using pip. And then finally, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to install PyMedGen. Yeah, I know I already told you that we'll be installing several other packages as well, but PyMedGen does come with a lot of libraries such as NumPy, SciPy, etc. in itself. So we'll just go ahead and install, pip install PyMedGen. And the reason I install NumPy is only because on their home page, for some reason, they mentioned that they do need um, numpy but usually i've seen that they take care of this on their own end so we are going to give the command pip install pymagen now and it is going to be a long install because i believe oh sorry pip3 we are going to use because we have python 3 yeah so it will take some time because it will install several packages and libraries and you know yeah it will take some time So as you can see, it is currently, you know, downloading matplotlib and then Monty package, then networks package and so on. So it will keep on, you know, downloading these uh, required packages and installing those. As you can see, it skipped the installation of NumPy here because we already installed it. But yeah, then it installed or downloaded palatable pandas, etc. So it will keep on downloading its dependencies and packages. So now it's installing SciPy for us and all that stuff. So I'll just probably pause the video or maybe fast forward it to a C end. Okay, so finally PyMagin is installed as well and installed a variety of packages such as um, 6, MPy, MathWallLib, SPGLib, MPMathSimPy, etc. So the next thing basically is to launch Python 3 and then check whether the installations were successful or not. So we'll just begin by importing NumPy and if it doesn't return any error, that basically means that, yeah, so that basically means that installation was successful now. SciPy, yeah, good. SimPy, good. And then finally matplotlib that works as well so the moment of truth by my chin that works as well so yeah so the goal of this tutorial was to enable scientific computing on python i mean using python on ubuntu and then also install PyMedGen for materials analysis and i believe that we have achieved that goal in this tutorial so we have installed or show i have showed you guys how to install python 3 and then the necessary packages using pip so that is it don't forget to hit the you know like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching hope you guys have a nice day